YouTube, I just wanted to pop in and make a quick video about what exactly a bicornic uterus is and some of my general fears regarding pregnancy because I actually do have a lot of anxiety surrounding being pregnant. So what is a bicornic uterus? Basically, I was born with my bicornic uterus. It basically means that when I was a newborn in my mother's in my mother's womb, um, the, while most people's uterus would fuse together into one like circular area, mine didn't fuse like the normal way or all the way. So my uterus is actually has like a dent in the top of it. So it's kind of like heart shaped, and basically it means that there's less room for a baby to grow. Usually your baby will implant on one side or the other of your uterus. Um, so that can make you have like half the space there for the baby to develop. Who have a bicoordinate uterus might not know that they have it because there are symptoms of bicoordinate uteruses, but to those people, it seems normal because it's what they've known their whole life. So some of the symptoms that people who have a bicoordinate uterus might experience or is like irregular, like vaginal bleeding. Um, they might have repeated miscarriages. They might have painful periods. They might have general um, abdominal discomfort. So yeah, it's basically like um, a lot of things that can be brushed off as like, that's just normal for you or how you've always been. That I had a bicoordinate uterus when I went to the doctor about um, irregular vaginal bleeding um, outside of my period and they did an ultrasound and told me that I had a cyst um, on my ovary um, but they also found told me that I had a bicoordinate uterus um, so basically I found out that way before before I was pregnant some symptoms that I don't know if it's because of having a bicoordinate uterus but I used to have I still do have actually like really difficult um, menstrual cycles to the point of whew, when I was when I was really young like throwing up multiple times a day not able to keep food down when I'm on my period in so much pain I couldn't stand or walk fainting um, so yeah that was just a monthly occurrence I would miss school um, I would get so much anxiety around missing school because I felt like my teachers thought I was just playing hooky all the time <laughs> And they would get upset um, when I started working. It caused problems with work. I remember I worked at Chick-fil-A in college, and I fainted three times while on the job. Um, and eventually I just quit that job. I worked at a school once, and then I had, like, just just having to be out when I was sick for my period just caused so many problems. So, um, yeah, I definitely am thankful that like in the past few years, I feel like it's gotten a little bit better. Plus, I have prescription pain medicine now. Um, but yeah, it's kind of weird that even when I had all these symptoms, I've been to the ER. I know my parents sent me to the ER when I got really sick sometime as a child during my period and as a teenager. And they never like actually looked into it. They're just like, well, we're, you're stabilized, so go home. I don't know. It's just like I felt like they should have like done a follow up and been like, "Hey, <laughs> something's going on here." But um, so basically, I wonder if the fact that I have a bicoordinate uterus contributed to um, some of the extreme pain that I felt during my periods and some of the weird symptoms. I I assumed it. They I was told I probably have endometriosis, um, which I still I still probably might have that as well but um you can't really see that very easily on the ultrasound without surgery so so yeah i'm just don't know if that's due to bicornic uterus or maybe endometriosis or just how i am so yeah <laughs> to the topic of pregnancy um so it definitely does raise my anxiety levels about being pregnant just because um yeah, bicornic uterus actually can raise your chance of miscarriage and preterm delivery. So a lot of people have a risk of miscarriage a lot of times during their first trimester of pregnancy. Um, and then when they get to the second trimester, for most cases, you're kind of in the clear. Um, for most people, you're told you're basically in the clear. 
but with a bicoordinate uterus because as the baby gets bigger, there's less space there for the baby to grow. Um, there's a chance that the baby could could be lost um, even in the second or third trimester of pregnancy. It, your 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 chance of that is a lot higher. We had a miscarriage before. Um, I was pregnant once before, and we did lose the baby. It was a first trimester miscarriage, so I don't know if it was related to having a bicoordinate uterus or not. But it could have just been normal, everyday miscarriages that happen. So far, I am 19 weeks pregnant. And everything is going well so far, other than the fact that I am extremely nauseous all the time, which is getting on my nerves, but some people say that's a good sign, so I guess, I guess it is what it is. <laughs> fears, my biggest fears, I would say, are obviously I'm still afraid of possibly losing the baby, um, because I know that could literally happen anytime. There are people who carry the baby full term and then something still happens and they they don't get to take the baby home and that's always very sad and scary. Um, but I figured I'm going to go ahead and make my little video because it doesn't change the fact that as of right now I am pregnant. As of right now this is happening. As of right now the baby is here. So I can't just constantly think of the negative and assume the worst. <laughs> really, really scared of actually delivering the baby constantly thinking how the heck is this little human gonna actually get out of my body <laughs> um growing up my mom always told me like because I'm such a tiny person she was always like well when you were born they told me that if you had a child you'd have to have a c-section and I don't know how they could look at a newborn baby and know that the baby would have to have a c-section my mom had me by c-section I was a preemie so maybe I was small so that's might have been why they said that, but I don't know. So basically, the fact that I'm a small person does give you a risk for needing a C-section. But even more so, I think the fact that I have a bicoordinate uterus <laughs> gives me a risk for needing a C-section. Um, when your uterus isn't the normal shape, it doesn't always contract the normal way to let the baby out. And also, the in addition to that... Um, a lot of times the baby will get stuck um, in a breech position because it doesn't have as much room to like twist around at the end of pregnancy and be head down and ready to be delivered. So basically I feel like in addition to being an overly small person, I am also a person with a bicoordinate uterus and I'm just a person who I like to know what's going to happen. And I feel like whenever I try to ask like, so how, how are we going to deliver this baby? They're just like, and I know it's it's early, so they probably don't want to say anything yet, <laughs> but I just want to know, like, do, should I be mentally preparing myself for getting my stomach chopped open, or should I be mentally preparing myself for a regular birth, which also sounds terrifying. So basically just the idea of how is this baby going to get out of me. That you've heard me ramble on for probably almost 10 minutes, I decided you probably want to see this baby bump. So I'm going to stand up for a little bit. Oh, and here we go. You can't really see it, but this is me at 19 weeks. So, yeah. Anyway, I hope this video was somewhat informative. I'm not a doctor. I'm just a random girl from the internet, so do not take anything I say as gospel truth and ask your own doctor about any conditions that you may have with your uterus or your health, and have a lovely rest of your day.